PowerPoint 2010, From the Beginning. Introduction. What is PowerPoint? PowerPoint is a presentation software that can be used to create slideshows, business presentations, and also multimedia presentations. In this series, we'll uncover the different features that you will use for each of these purposes. Let's go ahead and take a look. This is how PowerPoint will look when you first open it up. I have a blank presentation with a single slide. Let's go ahead and look at the interface and then we'll talk about how to deal with a presentation. First of all, across the top of my screen, I have tabs. Each of these tabs corresponds with functions on the ribbon. I am currently in the Home tab, and I have a basic set of functions that will guide me through many of the different things I need inside of PowerPoint. You'll notice that I have cut, copy, and paste features. I can also add a new slide or adjust the layout of an existing slide. All of my font formatting options are here as well. And down the way, I have paragraph, drawing, and editing functions in addition. In the lower right-hand corner of several of these regions is what's called a dialog box launcher. Dialog box launchers lead to greater functionality. If I click where it says click to add a title, now I can click here and access my dialog box. Inside the dialog boxes are greater levels of functionality. New for Office 2010 is the File tab. On the File tab, you can access recently opened or created presentations, save presentations, open presentations, and close presentations. You can also print from here, save and send, and find help. We're going to cover many of these features in other sessions. Also, at the bottom, we have options and exit. If I click on options, I can see I get a set of options for how PowerPoint will work. There are categories down the left hand side and the functions are grouped logically. PowerPoint has several different views. I am currently in the normal view. To access other views, I can either go to the view tab and I can see normal, slide sorter, notes, and reading view. Or I also have buttons in the lower right hand corner of my screen. On the left hand side of my screen, I have a thumbnail pane that will show me thumbnails of all of the different slides I have. As I type, it does fill in. In other words, what you see is a real-time thumbnail of your actual slides. As we add items or view items, we will get what are called contextual tabs. Because this main box where I'm putting this title is effectively a text box, I can come up and click on the Format tab and get drawing tools for dealing with this text box. Let's go ahead and open an existing presentation and show you how to run a slideshow. I'm first going to go to my File tab, go down to Recent, and I'm going to open up Natural Escape Resort and Spa. This is what a presentation will look like inside of PowerPoint. Notice I have in my thumbnail pane down the left-hand side all of my slides. I can simply click and go to any slide I'd like. When you're ready to run a slideshow, simply go to the slideshow tab and the first button is from beginning. Click from beginning and your slideshow will begin. Simply click through or use the arrow keys on your keyboard to advance the slides. When you're done, you can either hit the escape key or go all the way to the end of the presentation. I'm going to hit the escape key. And now I'm back 
in regular edit mode. If you want to make any changes to your presentation, simply come over and click on the tab where that function will reside. Once again, they're very logically grouped. If you want to add an animation to an individual element on the screen, simply click on the element and go to the Animations tab. If you want to change transitions from one slide to another, go to the Transitions tab. And if you're looking to insert a particular item into your presentation, most likely it's on the Insert tab. And that's your introduction to PowerPoint 2010. Look for our other sessions on creating presentations, working with shapes, adding photos and art, working with smart art and charts, themes, animations, and transitions.